Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering operators in Python. Guys, I've uploaded complete Python programming subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain operators in Python. Python supports six types of operators. They are arithmetic operator, relational operator, bitwise operator, logical operator, assignment operator and special operator. Where special operator contains identity and membership operators. But before starting this, you need to know what is operator. Operator is nothing but it is a symbol that performs certain tasks. For example, A plus B. Where a and B are operands and place is operator. This place is operator. By using this symbol place, we can perform task that is addition. So operator is nothing but it is a symbol that performs certain task. For example, A minus B, where minus is symbol that is used to perform subtraction. At first, I will explain what is arithmetic operator. Python supports seven arithmetic operators. They are plus for addition, minus for subtraction, star symbol. We call this symbol as asterisk symbol. This is for multiplication and slash symbol that is for division double slash for flow division and percentage symbol that is to calculate modulus and double asterisk symbol is for power I will explain each of them by giving example 10 plus 20 that is 30 and next for subtraction 10 minus 20 that is minus 10 and for multiplication that is 10 asterisk 20 that is 200 and for division for example 10 divided by 5 5 1 ja 5 5 2 ja 10 so I will get output 2.0 actually I should get output 2 but division will represent it as float value so I will get output 2.0 I don't want output as float value I want to get output as integer value so for that purpose I need to use double slash symbol that is for flow division same example 10 double slash 5 5 1 ja 5 5 2 ja 10 so here I will get output 2 this is difference between division and flow division where division will represent output as float value and flow division will represent output as integer value this percentage symbol is for modulus it will display remainder as output for example here in this example I given 2 modulus 1 that means I am dividing this 2 with 1 1 2 ja 2 remainder is 0 so here I will get output 0 modulus will display remainder as output next power for example i want to calculate 2 to the power of 2 that means 2 double asterisk symbol 2 that means 2 square that is 2 into 2 i will get output 4 for example i want to calculate 2 cube then you need to give 2 double asterisk symbol 3 that means I am calculating 2 cube that is 2 into 2 into 2 8 is my output. This simple python program in order to perform various arithmetic operations. Here I given value of a as 10 and value of b as 20. After that I written print. In double quotations I written addition is comma a plus b. Definitely you need to give here comma. Whenever you execute this line of code then you will get output addition is. Because whatever the text I written in double quotations it will be displayed as output. So I will get output here addition is. After that I then comma a plus b value of a is 10 and value of b is 20 a plus b mean 10 plus 20 that is 30 so here I will get output addition is 30. Similarly, I written code for various arithmetic operators that is for subtraction, multiplication, modulus, division, flow division and power. Here for division you will get output 0 0.5. 10 1 ja 10, 10 2 ja 20 that is 1 by 2 that is equal to 0 0.5. For flow division you will get output 0 because it will consider only integer value. So it will avoid this 0.5 and it will display only 0. This is arithmetic operator. Next I will explain assignment operator. We represent assignment operator operator with is equal to symbol. In order to assign values we use assignment operator. This is an example. Here I written a is equal to 10. That means I am assigning value 10 to this variable a. So whenever I execute this program then I will get output 10. This is simple program for assignment operator. Next I will explain relational operator. Relational operator is used to identify relation between two operands. For example 10 less than 20. This less than symbol is relational operator. This is used to identify relation between two operands 10 and 20. Here 10 is less than 20. Total there are 6 relational operators. They are less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, equal to and not equal to. These are various relational operators. I will give an example so that you can clearly understand how relational operators will work. Here I given value of a as 10 and value of b as 20 and inside this print function I written a is less than b in double quotations comma a less than b. Value of a is 
10 and value of p is 20. 10 is less than 20. This condition is true. So, here I will get output true. Next, I given a greater than b. Value of a is 10 and value of b is 20. 10 is not greater than 20. 10 is less than 20. So, here I will get output false. Next, I given a less than or equal to b. If a value is less than b or a value is equal to b, then I will get output true. S10 is less than 20 this condition is true so here i will get output true and for a greater than b 10 is not greater than 20 and 10 is not equal to 20 so here i will get output false here value of a is 10 and value of b is 20 so a value is not equal to b here i will get output false here for relational operator you need to use double equal to if you use single equal to then it is considered as assignment operator and it will display error so here you need to use double equal to here a is not equal to b a value 10 and b value is 20 so both are not equal here condition is true because a is not equal to b this is python program for various relational operators next i will explain bitwise operators total there are six bitwise operators they are bitwise and bitwise or bitwise xor bitwise complement bitwise right shift and bitwise left shift these are six bitwise operators we can perform bitwise operations only for integer and boolean values at first i will explain what is this bitwise and for bitwise and if both values are 1 the result will be 1 else result will be 0 just you need to remember this table i will give an example so that you can clearly understand how this bitwise and operator will work here i want to perform bitwise and operation for number 5 and number 6 so at first you need to convert this 5 into binary how to convert 5 into binary here at first you need to click on mode here you can see option that is base end just select base end that is option 4 click on 4 here by default it will show decimal value i want to convert this decimal value 5 into binary so select here 5 and press is equal to so here you can see value 5 now i want to convert this 5 value into binary just here you can see option that is binary your log symbol then just click on it so here result is don't consider zeros count from 1 so if you convert 5 number into binary you will get result that is 101 so after converting 5 number into binary you will get result 101 Similarly, now you need to convert this 6 into binary. So, you can click on mode and here you need to select base n that is option 4. Now, select decimal number which you want to convert it into binary. I want to convert number 6 into binary. So, I am selecting here 6. Just click on 6 and press is equal to. So, here you can see option 6 BIN. Here you can see option that is BIN nothing but binary. Just click on it. Don't count zeros count from 1 so result is 110 now we will perform bitwise and operation for this number 5 and number 6 in bitwise and if both values are 1 then result is 1 else result is 0 here compare this both first one is 10 so result is 0 here for 10 result is 0 and for 11 result is 1 if both are 1 then result is 1 else for 00 for 01 and for 10 result is 0 after that you need to convert this result 100 into binary just click on mode and here select base n i don't want to convert decimal value i want to convert binary value into decimals so you can see binary symbol that is log just click on it and enter binary number that is 100 so enter 100 and plus is equal here you can see and 100 now you need to convert this into decimal you can see option decimal here in place of x square you can see option decimal click on it so your result is 4 after performing bitwise and operation for this number 5 and number 6 you will get result as 4 next i will explain bitwise or operation here for bitwise or if both values are 0 then result is 0 else for 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 result is 1 i will give an example we will perform the same example for bitwise or i want to perform bitwise or operation for number 5 and number 6 so after converting number 5 into binary you will get result 101 and after converting this number 6 into binary you will get result that is 110 now we will perform bitwise or operation for this here for 10 result is 1 and for 01 result is 1 and for 11 result is 1 that is 7 this is how we perform bitwise or operation next we will perform bitwise xor operation here for bitwise xor if both values are same then result is 0 for 0 0 result is 0 and for 1 1 result is 0 else result is 1 for 0 1 and for 1 0 result is 1 now we will perform bitwise xor operation for number 5 and number 6 compare this both for 1 0 result is 1 and for 0 1 result is 1 
and for 1 1 result is 0. After converting this 0 1 1 into decimal then you will get result that is 3. Now we will explain program. Here I took value of a as 5 and value of b as 6. Now write here print a and b, a or b and a x or b. By writing this program then you will get output 4 and 7 and 3. This is my output for this program. Next I will explain bitwise complement. For example here I written print bitwise complement of 5. Whenever I execute this program, I will get output minus 6. What this bitwise complement will do is, bitwise complement will increment this value and will add negative symbol. So here I will get output minus 6. Similarly, I return print bitwise complement of 10. So here I will get output minus 11. As I said before, as I said before, bitwise complement will increment this value to 1 and it will include minus sign to it. Again here I return print bitwise complement of 100. Then here I will get output minus 101. This is use of bitwise complement. Next I will explain bitwise right shift and bitwise left shift. For example, let us consider number 15. If you convert this number 15 into binary, then you will get output that is 1, 1, 1, 1. Bitwise right shift means you are shifting this binary number to right. Whenever you shift this binary number to right, then it will remove this last number. So you will get output that is 1, 1, 1. If you convert this 3, 1 into decimal, then you will get output that is 7. Next, I will explain bitwise left shift. I want to perform left shift operation for this number 15. If you convert this number 15 into binary, then you will get output that is 1111. Right shift means it will remove last binary number. Whereas left shift means it will add number that is 1111. I am shifting this to left. So I will get here 1111. Here you need to write 0. If you convert this binary number into decimal, you will get output 30. Next I will explain logical operators. Total there are 3 logical operators. They are and or not. For logical and, if both values are true, then result is true. Else, for true false, for false true and for false false, result is false. And similarly, for logical or, if both values are false, then result is false. Else, for true true, true false and false true, result is true. Just remember like this, for logical and, true true is equal to true and for logical or, false false is equal to false and last one is not logical not operator will represent true as false and false as true i will give one program so that you can clearly understand how logical operators will work for example i am taking two values a equal to 10 and b equal to 5 after that i am writing print a less than b and where this and represent logical and operator and a greater than b similarly a greater than b logical or a less than b Next I return print logical not open bracket write same a less than b and a greater than b close this logical not. Whenever I execute this program I will get output here value of a is 10 and value of b is 5. Here 10 is not less than 5 10 is greater than 5 so here I will get false. And here I given a greater than b here value of a is 10 and value of b is 5. Yes, 10 is greater than 5. This condition is true. In logical and if both values are true, then result is true. Else, if any one is false, then result is false. So here this is false. Here I will get output false. Similarly, we will perform logical or operation. Here value of a is 10 and value of b is 5. Yes, 10 is greater than 5. This condition is true. Logical or a less than b. Here value of a is 10 and value of b is 5. 10 is not less than 5. 10 is greater than 5. So here condition is false. In logical R, if both values are false, then result is false. Else, if any single condition is true, then result is true. Here this condition is true. I will get output as true. This logical not operator is complement operator. That is, it will represent true as false and false as true. So here I given not a less than b and a greater than b. Here for a less than b and a greater than b, result is false. So not operator will represent true as false and false as true. Here result is false. Here I given not. So here I will get result as true. This is program for logical and logical or and logical not operator. Next I will explain special operators. Total there are two special operators in Python. They are Identity operator and membership operator. At first, I will explain what is this identity operator. Identity operator contains is and is not. This is program. 
Here I given value of a as phi and value of b as phi. After that I took print function and inside print function I written a is b. a is b. a is b is nothing but it will check whether value of a is equal to b or not. Here value of a is phi and value of b is phi. So here I will get result as true. And next I written print a is not b. It will check whether a value is not equal to b or not. Here both are equal. So here I will get output false. Next I will explain membership operator. Membership operator contains in and not in. For example here I took a equal to my name is Nagendra. I took one string that is my name is Nagendra. After that I written print. Inside print I am writing my in a. That means I am asking that whether my is present in variable a or not. Yes. My is present here. So here I will get output true. For example, here if I give print btech in a, here I am asking that whether btech is present in variable a or not. Here in this sentence btech is not present. So here I will get output as false. For example, if I write here print btech not in a, that means I am asking that whether btech is not present in this variable a. Yes, btech is not present in this sentence. So here I will get output as true.